What up, Dokoners? We have the translations courtesy of the homie Goresh for the new Dokon Festival Exchange Goku and Vegeta Blue from Resurrection F. If you guys want to check out the Super Attack animations, go check out my previous video. Link will be in the description. The reaction. I'm so happy because I literally wanted exactly that and they gave it to me. The animations are a little weird, but the, the hype, the nostalgia factor, that's what I care about. So I'm super hyped for this unit. This is coming to JP first. So let's take a look at the translations. Here we go. Let me actually pull it up on a separate uh, image. This might be easier to read um, a little bit. Okay, let me zoom out a tad. There we go. Okay. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. This is an int unit. Leader skill, Realm of Gods or Mastered Evolution. Key plus three, 170%. And then 30% extra to Pure Saiyans. So once again, the Pure Saiyans getting some love here with a 200% leader skill. Love it. Love it. Realm of Gods and Mastered Evolution. Nice category coverage for Pure Saiyans. This is going to be a nice one. Intro animation. Yep, as we saw in the uh, previous video. Super God Flash. Raises attack, causes immense damage. For the passive... Activates entrance animation. Key plus three and performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack for three turns from the start from the first appearance. Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of the turn. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 50 when performing a super attack. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 25% whenever attacking. Max attack and defense plus 100. Oh my god. What? Padding on those numbers, are we? Dude. If you were to be completely additive, that's 300%. Obviously, that's not how percentages work, but still, that's a lot of stacking right there, just in the passive. For the exchange, able to be used once four turns have elapsed from the start of battle. That's, oh, that's beautiful. No health restriction, no other condition, just simply four turns. That's good. I'll take that. When we transform into Vegeta, the super attack becomes greatly raising attack and defense, causing immense damage. And then for the passive, uh, changes random type of key sphere other than int to rainbow for three turns from the first appearance. Attack and defense plus 150 at the start of the turn. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. Gains an additional key plus one and plus 25% chance to perform a critical hit per rainbow key sphere of damage. Oh my god. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 100% upon collecting a rainbow key spheres. Oh, and gains an additional defense plus 50 when collecting three or more rainbow key spheres links unchanged for the links saiyan warrior race super saiyan super god combat warrior gods resurrection f this link is going to be getting a lot of mileage on this one no resurrection f category though prepare for battle and fierce battle and then categories realm of gods pure saiyans movie heroes goku's family uh, because it's an exchange unit it starts off as goku that's why it's in goku's family bond of master and disciple turtle school master of evolution bond of friendship <laughs> bond of friendship accelerated battle battle of fate power beyond super saiyan i mean yeah they are friends right we that's already been established after the boost saga so that is how the unit looks and wow that is something let me know in the comments what do you think about this build pretty broken no pretty broken this is a super int unit and uh dude i so jealous of jp right now all right now let's take a look at the jocko now this was a surprising unit that i don't think anybody was expecting so let's take a look this is a super agl self-proclaimed super elite the animation for this one is actually kind of neat and to some degree i could kind of argue that it's better than the goku vegeta ally of justice oh right D defenders of justice right defender of justice key plus three 130 stats elite beam causes supreme damage with a great chance to stun let me zoom out a little bit because you can't see the full there we go um self proclaims there's a couple key plus three attack and defense plus 140 percent at the start of the turn great chance to evade enemies attacks when in the first slot of rotation this is really good because this is not meaning that you have to attack this is simply in the first slot so that is fantastic 70 percent chance in first slot very good high chance to evade and attack enemies attack and defense minus 20 percent for two turns when in the second or third slots of rotation gains attack plus 60 percent when attacking an extreme class enemy gains an additional attack and defense plus 20 percent per attack evaded max attack and defense plus 80 percent that is something wow um i'm really happy that they're doing the unconditional well not unconditional but they're they're changing the wording here by being in the first slot instead of having been the first attacker now the links are going to be a little weird brainiacs flee solid support patrol signature pose resurrection f and fierce battle i was really hoping for some sort of a support here but we didn't get that but still uh i'll take it because super oh i forgot to read the super attack 
Cause supreme damage with a great chance to stun. I might have missed that. 70% chance to stun. Movie hero, special pose, space traveling warriors, and defenders of justice or ally of justice. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about these two builds. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I love it. I'm very happy with this uh, overall animations build what they can do. I am very much looking forward to seeing how this is going to function post seven year anniversary. Just imagine these units with the Beyond Super Saiyan led seven year LR. Oh my God. And then this Jocko, this is a Super Battle Road All-Star right here. This is a Super Battle Road Beast. 70% chance to stun, 70% chance to dodge. You don't get those types of abilities in the same skill set very often. So this is actually going to be an underrated unit that I think people are really going to be happy about. Uh, now next, let's talk about some of the other pieces of news that dropped on JP. So I just talked about this on Global, where when you're investing in Battlefield memory, you got to be a little careful because if you are all in on a particular unit, then you're going to have to like devote several clashes to actually pull the amount of funds needed to awaken or do whatever you can with that unit. We are now getting another Battlefield LR EZA in the form of the LR Battle Metal Metal Battle Meta Cooler Army. This unit is receiving an EZA, and obviously that is going to involve more Battlefield memory currency. So if you guys were on the fence about the LR Ginyu Force, now you've got another wrinkle to deal with right here. So we'll find out more information on this LR EZA, and when it does drop, I will let you guys know in a video or two. And then the last piece of news on JP is the Super Strike Event Renewal for the Mecha Frieza. So I just talked about this on the Resurrection F um, video that I talked about yesterday, where I said that they are probably gonna be doing something with the Resurrection F units that involve those metals. Now I mentioned that because the physical Mecha Frieza doesn't utilize those Resurrection F metals, but the other unit that drops from that Super Strike event does utilize those metals, which I do wanna talk about here. So let me see, uh, Strike, so I just had talked about this before. So let me see this one right here. So this event is about to get a renewal. And uh, there are two types of Mecha Frieza drops here. We have the, the physical one, which is getting the revamp, right? The renewal. TUR and EZA. We'll wait to see what that unit can do. But the Int one, in order to awaken this unit, you are going to need all of these Resurrection F medals. So I'm very curious to see if they're going to be doing something with this, revamping the entire event, or completely skipping that unit altogether in the event renewal. I don't know. So before that happens, you might want to consider picking up some of these units. I don't know what they're going to do. It's going to be very interesting to see. But that is pretty much it, folks, for all of the news that is dropping on JP. The main focus of the video, do you like these translations? Do you like how these units look? And what do you think of those animations? Go check out my last video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like down below. And let me know in the comments your thoughts on this celebration so far. Does it look to be something promising for JP? Does this change your perspective as global players who might be watching this? for what you want to be saving for post seven year anniversary. Is it no longer all about Raditz? Is it instead all about Resurrection F? Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.